Gonna start a new series for the year. I'm gonna try and do a weekly video uh, all about the full Ironman prep that I'm going to be doing. Um, I haven't actually signed up for the full yet, um, but I'm just trying to decide which one I wanna do, and I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm just back from holidays, so I'm currently just like unpacking all the shit and tidying everything up. Um, but yeah, decided I'm definitely gonna do a full this year after doing the 70.3. There's a part of me that just feels like I haven't really done a fucking Ironman if I haven't done the full one, which is a terrible mindset, but that's my mindset. Uh, so yeah, gonna try and do hopefully like a weekly video and just take, yeah, just kind of document the whole process. Uh, last year's I did like one big video for this thing. I'm just gonna do like a bunch of small videos. Um, it'll just be, you think, easier to manage with the training than trying to film loads of stuff. So it'll be a combination of main camera and like some iPhone, maybe some GoPro footage when I'm out training. But, uh, but yeah, currently the Zwift bike is just like staring at me, demanding to be used, but it's not going to get used today. Um, cause we're just easing back into the whole process of it all. So yeah, full Iron Man. Here we go. Uh, something I am trying to take a little bit more seriously this off season um, is meal prep. Uh, I didn't do much of it last year. Uh, I was more focused on just finishing the fucking race <laughs> and like you know training, making sure that I could do the distances that were required. Um, and now that I know that I can, and I know that I'm probably capable of a little bit more, uh, meal prep is going to be a big one this year. Um, I'm just back from the States. I was away for two weeks, just kind of took some time off after the Ironman. And uh, ate like a pig. Ate so much American, heavy American food. Um, so I've definitely put on a little bit of weight, I reckon, since the Ironman training finished. So to get back on track, um, yeah, next couple of weeks is going to be a lot of meal prep style food. Um, made this yesterday. It's like a chicken rice with uh, veg and then like a puri puri chicken breast as well. Um, another good option for like days where I don't have time to meal prep is like these guys, uh, Fit Foods. They're just like a brand uh, that is sold here in Ireland. Um, yeah, like it's, it's actually very tasty. A lot of these pre-made meals are kind of a bit shy, a bit bland, but these are actually really nice. Uh, 30 grams of protein, 420 cals. Um, yeah, chicken and rice, super easy. And it's like five minutes in the microwave and you're good to go, which is nice. So yeah, big one for the start of the season, meal prep. Oh baby. Chicken and rice. Um, sounds boring, but actually with the right seasoning and like chicken broth and the rice and that kind of stuff, it's, it's actually not bad. It's not the worst meal in the world. So uh, I don't mind eating this for a few weeks to kind of get the body back on track, you know? There's a few things that have changed. Um, well, there's a few things that are different, I suppose, at the start of this Ironman prep compared to the last one. Um, I have a much better understanding of the training style now and my body and kind of nutrition, which coming into my first Ironman last year, the 70.3 in Cork, I didn't have that understanding. Um, so my approach for the first like six months was, was just off, like it was wrong. I had an injury then and that reset everything, which was actually for the best. Um, and to start this season, I have a bit of an injury. I've just kind of I kind of had shin splints um, after the Ironman. I did another half marathon like a week later. And I think I kind of just overloaded my body, which is kind of silly. Um, and I've kind of had shin splints since, but I took, like I said, I took about five weeks off from running um, and they seem to have recovered. I went for my first run last night. It was very slow, as you can see, and very short, but that's exactly what the physio told me to do. Ease back into it nice and slow for the next couple of weeks for the start of the season. Um, yeah, the training is gonna be like super, super light as far as running is concerned. Um, but I'm definitely gonna try and get some miles up on the, the Zwift bike. That's another thing that's changed since last uh, last year. I did all my cycling outdoors and you know, weather didn't always play ball here in Ireland. So that kind of limited me. So having a Zwift bike this year and being able to do some indoor training is gonna be, um, yeah, it's gonna be huge. So 
very much looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a different year, I think, as far as the prep, just given those things that I now know. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, obviously, again, back to being nervous because it's a full Ironman, so it's twice what I did last year. That's pretty nerve-wracking, but um, yeah, we should be, we should be okay. The main problem with this time of year for training is it's like half four <laughs> and it's like already starting to get dark. Um, which just means there's a lot of evenings of like getting home from work and then just running when it's pitch black out. Uh, or the other option is skip work and uh, train during the day when it's still bright out. But I don't know, it's just like an extra challenge. Uh, so we didn't train yesterday. We were obviously letting the shins recover uh, after our run. Um, so I'm gonna jump on the Swift today. I think I'm just gonna do like 45 minutes to an hour-ish um, because I actually have to drive down the country later for work. I'm going down to Waterford for uh, a job. So I'm gonna do a quick session on the Swift, just get a bit of a workout in, uh, head to Waterford. And then tomorrow as well, I've got a little uh, 20 minute run to do. So that's the plan. Uh, ease back into the running, ease back into the cycling. So yeah, gonna do a little Swift session. Um, and I'll show you kind of what that looks like. Logging into Zwift on the laptop. Um, yeah, that worked. Okay, cool. I forgot my password there for a minute, but we good, we good. Um, so yeah, logging in. Uh, we're gonna do, where is this? Uh, fucking, let's just find, let's find a workout to do, shall we? Uh, okay, so we're gonna do climbing power workout, 52 minutes. Uh, perceived effort of 3.5 out of 5 so um, it's just below the FTP threshold for uh, certain things I did my FTP test there in the off season just after the Ironman uh, and it was 289 watts so uh, the goal is to um, yeah try and try and improve that over the next little while so I'm gonna jump in and do this uh, yeah I don't know it looks like it's gonna kind of suck it's like build up and then it's like easy uh, medium hard easy medium hard and it's kind of like that for 50 minutes so we'll see but it's good good to build power for climbing um, it's a lot of climbing around where around where i live so let's uh, yeah, jump on the bike and do this Round one. Oh, fuck out. Uh, round one is done. Four minute kind of recovery cycle now. It's so fucking hard. It was, uh, what was it? Four minutes at 270 watts, uh, and then one minute at 320 watts. Uh, and do that twice. Recover for four minutes, and then you basically do that twice more, like that set twice more. Uh, it's so brutal after taking time off. I feel so shit, like genuinely. I don't know, like I don't know. I'm contemplating just doing one more round and biting the bullet, getting off. But fuck it. My heart rate is so fucking high. Like it was at 180 during that spin there and I felt like I couldn't breathe. It's so bad. Anyways, two and a half minutes rest now. Let's go. That was so much harder than I was ready for today. I was boxed. 
Ah, oh, sweaty. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Uh, I don't really know what I was expecting from that workout, but it wasn't that. Uh, in the name of full honesty, I did the full 55 minutes. Uh, the middle round, I took a break in the middle. Uh, just like 20 seconds, my legs were cramping and burning. Uh, and basically what happens is, if you take a break on this, the erg feature stops to let you like spin your legs. And I basically didn't restart. So I didn't hit the targets in that middle round. Uh, I was like, my target was 270. I was sitting at like 200. I like physically couldn't get it to go any harder. Uh, when I spun, my legs just went faster. They didn't, uh, they didn't, uh, what was it called? They didn't up the wattage. So then for the round of 320, I was still sitting at like 250 when it upped the tiny bit. So uh, I definitely missed that middle round, but I don't know. I like, obviously you want to complete a workout like that, but uh, I was close to giving up at one point. So the fact that I did the full 55 minutes, uh, yeah, didn't necessarily get gold stars and all the workout rounds, but I definitely gave it everything I had. Uh, you know, this is still calibrated to last season's target, so. First bike of the new season. It's not totally terrible, but holy shit, I'm sweaty. I feel like so much of Ironman and like any sort of endurance style training, um, a lot of it comes down to preparation and time management. Uh, like after the cycle there, I knew I had to get on the road. And there's a part of me, I hadn't eaten lunch, and there's a part of me that was like, oh fuck, I'll just get on the road, I need to go, I need to go. Uh, you know, and I'll just get food on the road, but that just leads to eating fucking Burger King at a petrol station or whatever, at McDonald's. Um, so I kind of forced myself to take an extra 10 minutes, just reheat my food, sit down, eat it, and uh, yeah, not just get distracted by, fuck, I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna have to rush or whatever it is. Like, I'm, I, I'm still I'm still early, but I was just, I like to be extra early. So I was gonna leave, and then I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'll eat, I'll eat, um, and I'm glad I did. But yeah, I think that's something, it's hard to, to do especially for people who have full-time jobs i'm lucky i work for myself but like time management is a huge part of this training style and and you know whatever workout preparation whatever you want to call it Time to check out the hotel and go for a run. Got in pretty late last night, but actually got a pretty decent night's sleep. Um, had a bit of a hotel breakfast there. And, oh my God, it's so bright. Uh, we're going to meet Harry. We're gonna go for a quick run. I have to do 20 minutes today just to get back into running. Get the old shins used to the running again. Um, so yeah, 20 minutes today, and then that's kind of the end of the week. It's been a pretty easy kind of week back into the training. So it's hard sometimes when you're staying in hotels to eat healthy, um, like, it's not always going to be good food, so you just kind of get a bit of a feed in, do some exercise, and you'll be okay. But I don't know. I enjoyed the the fry this morning. We're here to see Harry. Hello, buddy. How you doing? minutes in 12 minutes in legs feel good i'm actually really happy no real pain in the shins at all pace is obviously super slow but that's the point of all of this is like really build it back up um hey guys um really build it back up from zero uh, so like pace on this run has been like average 6 30 
uh, body wants to go faster, which is a good sign, but I really have to just gonna don't. It'll only make things worse. So yeah. And Harry's coming into his deload phase soon, so he's gonna be how long? How long? Three weeks? Feel fresh. Uh, three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. And you're flying across the other side of the world to do this. Yep. <laughs> Not even excited? Nervous? Yeah. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Tell me where. Get out there. Yeah. And the plan is, hopefully, all goes well with Harry's Ultra. He'll be joining on the full Iron Man Plus for next year. So fingers crossed. No injuries. None of that. We'll be doing a full Iron Man. Next year, oh, maybe. There we are. 20 minutes, 3.4 kilometers, six pace. Not too bad. Nice work, sir. Uh, that's the run done. We did um, about three and a half k. No pain in the shins, so fucking delighted. Because um, yeah, it's. Just tough getting back into the new season and the fact that I can recover from an injury and yeah mentally get past that is, is pretty sweet um, so yeah pretty pretty happy that's kind of the training done for for this week not a huge volume but again we're just getting back into it so it's always uh, yeah always a bit of a challenge just to get back into the flow of things and I don't know let the body feel right in the volume of training so shout out Harry for coming on coming on the run with us good yep. luck in uh good luck in australia if we don't see you thank you <laughs> and uh yeah another training week next week and we'll see what happens